H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. All participants are welcome to the H2K Infosys QA course. And this is Priya here from H2K Infosys. I'll be the batch faculty for you. And this is my email address. It is priya at h2kinfosys.com. So this is a software testing course that all of you have enrolled. And after the completion of this course, you'll be able to work as a software tester in the IT companies in the IT project team. So we'll start with the topic that is called as manual testing. And after the completion of this course, you'll be able to work as a software tester. Now every software that is developed, it should undergo the testing process before we release a software to the client. So what exactly is testing? Can you tell me participants, what do you understand by testing? You can write your answers on the chat box. See, there are a couple of instructions that all of you will have to follow. All the participants will be on mute. So you'll have to use your chat box to interact with me. And whenever I'm discussing something, you'll have to pay your attention. In case you have the questions, once we are done with the discussion, you can write your questions on the chat box and also make your notes. Now, testing is all about identifying the defects in the software and verify the compliance with the client requirements. Now the testing can be done in two ways. Either we could do testing manually or automatically using the software. And to conduct the testing, we have the testing team that comprises of test manager, test lead and all the testers in the team. When we say testers, it includes the entry level testers, the automation testers, performance testers. All the testers are included here in the testing team. And to do the testing, there are certain testing steps that we need to follow. We also call it as software testing life cycle, very popularly known as STLC. So we start with the test requirement gathering. The next step is test planning and analysis, test design, test implementation and execution, defect reporting and tracking, then the test closure. So these are the different steps that are to be followed to test the software as per the standards. All of you please make note of content on my screen. I'll wait for some time. Any questions now you can type on the chat box. See one request participants, whenever I'm explaining something, please don't write your questions on the chat box or any sort of messages because I would not be able to view it. Once I'm done, you can write your questions. Zila, you have to write your questions on the chat box. Ruchita, you have to adjust your screen using the zoom option that is available on the top left corner. Zila, you are on the chat box only, but I think you typed the question while I was discussing something. So please write your questions once more so that I can read them. Aziz, I'll be giving the materials and recordings to everybody in the class. We'll send a group mail. Zila, please uh, retype your questions. I'm waiting. Zila, four days a week. And all these steps I will explain in detail. As of now, simply make note of them. Monday to Thursday. Zila. And Sukhvinder, all the steps I will explain to you once more. I mean in detail we will discuss. As of now, please make note of content on my screen. And Priya, the software testing life cycle starts parallel to the software development. Yes, materials and recordings will be sent, Zila. Yes, Kaval, do you have any problem? If you have any issue, please write it on the chat box. Okay, so let's proceed further. We have the first step here, the test requirement gathering. All of you, please pay attention. 
there is a client the business analyst meets the client gathers all the project information and then shares it with the entire it project team so in this it project team we have the project managers the business analyst the developers architects the qa there are different members of the it project team who can use the requirements in order to develop the software so as a qa you take this information from the business analyst and you need to prepare for the testing process so test requirement gathering is done by the qa the qa is not directly meeting the client to gather all the project information but the qa is getting the information from the business analyst which can be used to prepare for the testing and conduct the testing activity now in the first step that is the test requirement gathering the qa gathers the requirements or the project information from the business analyst and other members of it project team to prepare test documents for the testing for example the functional specification document that is prepared by the business analyst is used as a reference to prepare the test documents and conduct the testing activity so this is a first step participants that is test requirement gathering wherein the qa is taking all the project information from the business analyst you can make a quick note of this one i'll wait for a minute and we will proceed all of you please be quick if you are unable to take down the notes quickly you can take the screenshots and everybody will receive the materials and recordings after the class these are the two questions from the chat box fsd or the brd it is created by the business analyst yes both of these documents are created by the ba what is fsd we'll discuss about it in more detail as of now you can understand that it's a sp functional specification document which is prepared by the business analyst and then it has all the details of each and every requirement gathered from the client as soon as the ba gets the requirements the qa starts the test cases but if the software program how can we start the testing okay i'll let you know prashanti we'll discuss more about this one so this is the first step then the second step is analysis once you get the documents with you you need to review the documents analysis is review of the project documents for two reasons one is to identify the errors in the document and then the second reason is to understand the requirements of the client then there is a test planning i will show you a sample test plan document how it looks like this is a sample test plan document it's a standard format in all the project we use a similar format the titles will be same content can change based on the project this is the first page of the test plan document and you could find here the name of the organization the project or the module name title of the document and then there is a version number what is the purpose of version number can you tell me or what do you understand by version number whenever the client makes changes in the requirements accordingly there should be some changes in the document and to keep the track of these changes we need to update the version number the version number is updated to keep the track of the changes that happen to the document this document is prepared by the test lead and it is reviewed by the test manager and finally approved by the project manager then there is another table here it has a list of changes that are made to the document so that the changes could be tracked for example the serial number the date of change 
in which version the change is made, what page number the change is made, what is the type of change, did we add some new content, any content is modified, any content is deleted from the document. All the details would be mentioned here along with the brief description of the change. So this is a first page of the test plan document. You can go through this and we'll proceed further. This is the first page of the document and you can go through this. I'll wait for a minute. Everybody is done. Okay, let's have a look at the next part of the document. In the second page, you can see the contents with the page number and then this is a start of the document. This is the actual start which starts with an introduction. Any formal document starts with an introduction. So this is an introduction to the software test plan. What exactly this document contains, the different features that are to be implemented in the software to be tested, not to be tested resources, schedule, the steps to be followed, what are the different items that are to be tested. So all the content of this document could be summarized over here. Then there are objectives. So objective means it is the goal or the purpose of writing this test plan document. Again, the title would be same, but then these contents can change. The objectives could be different. In this case, it is, for example, to identify the components, determine the resources, estimate the schedule, and define the test deliverables. So these are the different objectives or the purpose of the document. Then we have a scope. Scope means it is the limit or how much of testing is to be done, how much testing is done in a particular test level. Whenever there are complex projects, the entire software cannot be tested at once because we don't receive all the requirements at once. The software is not entirely developed at once. The software is developed module wise. We develop some of the features and then later some of the features could be added based on the requirements that arrive. So the software could be developed in many levels. And accordingly, we need to test the software in many levels and for each level, there could be a separate test plan document. And in each test plan document, we need to mention how much of testing is to be performed or what is the limit of the testing process. Then there's a referential material here. Referential material means these are the different documents. These are the different documents to be referred to prepare the test documents for the testing. These are the different project documents to be referred to prepare the test documents for the testing. So this is the first page of the document. You can go through this one. Let me know if you have any questions. This is the next part of the document. So there are different test items to be tested. These are the different items of the software to be tested. For example, it could be the different documents of the project. The programs are to be tested. The data is to be tested. Maybe all of them are not being tested by the QA alone, but then what are the different items of the software that are to be tested will be mentioned under the test items. Then there are features to be tested. For example, these are the different functionalities like the login functionality, the sign up functionality, the account summary functionality, online bill payments, all the different functionalities of a net banking application could be considered as the features. So these are the different features that are to be tested. Now there are certain features that are not to be tested. What could be the reason? Maybe they are already tested in the previous level because in the previous page we mentioned that testing cannot be done at once. Testing has to be done in many levels. So these are the features that are already tested. There could be features that are still under development. So they need to be tested in future levels. 
that is why there are certain features that are not to be tested then we have the approaches approaches means these are the different types of testing that are to be performed now there are so many different types of testing that are existing but all of them may not be done in the same project based on the type of the software that we are developing we need to choose the type of testing which is done by the test lead the test lead will choose the type of testing that are to be done please go through this and please let me know if you have any questions on the chat box now let's have a look at the different questions that you have posted on the chat box before we proceed further what type of errors are identified i think you're asking during the analysis or the review of the project documents any kind of missing information can be identified because as a qa anyways you're not meeting the client to gather the project information so we don't expect you to identify each and every error as much as possible you should be able to identify any missing information kind of errors any steps any specifications that could be missing you could identify it easily it will avoid lot of defects in the future same question here if we do any update we cannot change in the original document but instead we can give the version number all right so i think you're trying to answer the question is it the initial requirement received from the client yes this has the requirements that are received from the client which will be shared with the entire it project team who prepares this test plan document this document is prepared by test lead so the document lists the changes that are being updated in a particular version yes it has a list of changes that are made not just in one version but in all the version explain version number one more time now priya for example you have the windows 7 windows 8 windows 9 10 why do you why do you have the different version number because there are changes that are happening in the operating system and to keep the track of them they are updating the version number you have the microsoft office 2007 2012 and so on what is the purpose of the different numbers that are given they are version numbers to keep the track of the changes that are done in the microsoft office so similarly participants here also in the test plan document there are changes that are happening many times in order to keep the track of those changes we update the version numbers when the tester review the brd how can he find the error in the document prepared by the business analyst that's what uh, savita you cannot identify each and every error practically that's not possible because you're not meeting the client but again you know lot of missing information kind of errors you could identify some steps are missing some specifications or some detailing is missing you could identify it easily test requirement gathering so missed no problem ruchita you'll anyways receive the materials and recordings for today's session it will have all the changes as well yes it will have all the changes that are made to the document over to you you can have some notebook along with you wherein you can take down your notes for your um, reference and after the class you will also receive the materials and recordings from our side so for every project who does this document the test plan document is always created by the test lead not by the tester tester may have to assist the test lead to create such documents what type of errors are identified in the specification document any kind of missing information errors could be identified is this document prepared by the ba no the test plan document is prepared by the test lead what is frs document same as the specification document itself the names could be slightly different what is the frs document frs document is similar to the specification document itself in some of the projects the documents could be known by slightly different names so this document is prepared in the end and delivered to whom munaza the test plan document is prepared in the beginning do you see here after the test requirement gathering the first document that we prepare is called as a test plan so it's not prepared at the end it is prepared right at the beginning 
can you explain and give the example of the complex project complex project in the sense um let's say we want to develop a software which has lot of features lot of functionalities for example the internet banking application or um, the customer accounts for the telecom application these are very complex projects wherein lot of functionalities are involved lot of calculations will be involved the different steps are involved many pages are existing in the software so such kind of projects are called as complex projects what are the software required for the testing we'll discuss about it in more detail throughout this qa course use cases means these are the documents that are prepared by the business analyst and this document contains the interactions between the different components of the software or the different modules of the software mitali what is to be explained once more please let me know you can make some quick note of the important points that i am writing on the screen who is the owner of this test document this test document will be anyways owned by the it company itself and then the test lead is a author of this document and also test lead is responsible for taking care of any updates how the qa will know which testing we have to do it will be mentioned in this document by the test lead how are we going to decide the type of testing this is decided by the test lead based on the type of software for example if it is a web based application we need to even test the compatibility with the browser if there is lot of data involved in the software then we need to do the data warehouse testing so there are different kinds of testing that have to be done based on the type of the software which is decided by the test lead explain the approach now to do the testing shalini there are so many different types of testing existing but then based on the type of software we need to choose the type of testing and we call it as an approach after the class over to you aut means it is application under test the software that we are currently testing for every new module ba will provide the brd and fsd well that depends how frequently they would be providing it smoke testing means it is a initial level testing wherein we check the readiness of the software for the further detailed testing test plan is a complete documentation yes it's a complete documentation it's a test plan document some more questions on the chat box in case if i have missed any questions you should let me know if i have missed any of your questions participants please let me know do we have the different models for the testing not exactly for the testing but to develop the software we have the stlc models no zilla these are only for the discussion